You guys ever play Mirror's Edge? Oh yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I played a few. I, I, I love Mirror's I, Edge. I for some reason did not like it. I've I've replayed it a few times. Over and the I think years. I know I was like accused of it being a skill issue. Like, are you just not good at it? I think, <laughs> I think that's the case, really and truly. It's a first-person platform more than it is an action game. So like, if right. that's not what you're looking the for. The first then one, wasn't I, I thought it felt like because I know it's supposed to be like a free runner. I thought it felt very weighty and like heavy and like the just the movement didn't feel good to me. I think I'm just bad at it. I think you're lying. No, I think I'm just bad at it. I played the demo of Mirror's Edge like a fiend. So did I. <laughs> like a fiend. Oh my god, when I first got my Xbox 360, and I just didn't have any games for it. I was just, tr I was just like pr patrolling the uh, the game library for like any demos. I played a shit ton of like the back. I started demo. doing that again because I used to do that all the time as a kid. I was like, I want to play all demos the demos. Demos like non-existent anymore. I yeah. know that's why. And then I played the Forspoken demo, and then I wish that I never played any demo ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, w what's the deal with that? game so, i keep hearing about it bad. and i know nothing it's i'm finally like, old enough now that i'm out of the i'm out of the loop it put me in and you're playing oh, as like this name. like new york 20 year old girl Frey. Frey, and you're using all this magic and stuff and it looks good there's like you know i thought like it looks good uh -huh. and like appearance the appearance is nice. the same exact engine as final fantasy uh 14 no 13 oh, that's 13 a, that's a good thing yeah but so i was playing it and she was like plays great saying all like these annoying quips <laughs> she had like a lot of annoying quips and it just it felt very much to me like it was like a pg-13 like you like marvel movie like game and it, it, it did not i did not like it for that and then as i kept going she ended up like cursing i was like wait this is rated m like I, I it was playing so much like a child game rated m for mid <laughs> exactly nice but it was very annoying. She was very annoying, and what game uh, is this? Forspoken. I've never heard of that. Yeah, I, good. I just I, I kept is hearing it's, just, it, it, it's Square Enix game, correct? Yeah, yeah I think so. I they've, just they've been mag dumping games. I know you guys are not like are not like in into yeah. those games. I'm not like so. A, I'm not a Square Enix. Um, mm. they they've released like man. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dan. You can do it in post if you want. You can just look up like Square Enix releases in 2020s, but like. In the last three years, like eight, nine games. Like I don't, no. I, like, don't know, because they're all like Japanese games. They're not like they're not like a, not all American mm. releases. But I'll be going through Steam because everything's on there internationally. And I'm like, who the fuck? This looks like a fucking Final Fantasy. Like, no, it's another Square Enix RPG. And like, what the fuck is happening? Just Cause Two was like the last Just Cause game to be I, fun. I, I think that like their issue is that you know, they, they keep like three. Is that they keep putting no. out games, but like their games aren't taking off like they want them to. And like the Force Spoken is supposed to be their next like. Big doorbuster, and they was put. A, it? They put yeah, they, they were, they were hyping it up to be like the next big, uh, like a next um, big oh, thing. I thought they're always gonna hype up any game they make. No, but I, it, I, no, I but like it was fourteen is such a good, like like fourteen is just no, but like they were such a good game, they were trying the to position it as like this is like a system seller, and um. Oh Sorry. It really just looks selling. like it looks like like a 360 game. Assistance? And, um, I think it looks like, good. Is it like the ReCore effect? Like everyone, they like no. Xbox thought everyone was gonna buy ReCore. No, it's just like Honestly, well, is it ReCore is like terrible. Yes. Oh, because <laughs> so, like I, saw, I tried I remember, it. I tried it. It's bad. I remember when I first saw like ads for it. I was like, oh, this looks like a cool game. Yep, and then it I does, saw it, it was on Game Pass. I was like, maybe I'll try it. I, I didn't do it yet. Maybe I won't. <laughs> you shouldn't. Don't waste your time. But um, yeah, like it's just like a really repetitive game that like for some reason. Like just that's that's that that trend. It just drops TNT box. <laughs> what a great spell! Oh fuck, they're gonna explode. Is that trend recently? Where? It's oh god! <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. That was a good way to die. Finish, Ricky. So it's that trend recently where it's like people don't know how to write characters without them coming off as like arrogant and being an asshole. So like their idea of being like let's make let someone like strong. It's like no, they're just like an asshole. And like the like the entire game, she's basically like, I don't want to be here, and I want to help these people. In the fort, the fort spoken. spoken. Yeah, fort spoken. She's like, she's like, I want to go home. I don't want to be here. And she just begrudgingly like helps everyone. And it's like, I don't like you. It's like, why would I want to root for someone who's just the entire game is like, I would does rather that, do like, anything else. Does it turn around at any point? Do you I know? think at the very end. Because like that makes sense if like you got torn away from your home and they're like this life threatening conflict. No, is not your responsibility. It's a, the, that's an understandable. No, but response. the weird thing is that she hated her life. She was homeless and a felon and poor. And so she gets sucked out. So she was of, a bad person? Yeah, she actually she was. was. Yeah, she, she was a criminal. And um, so it was like this whole thing. And then she was it's just like some dumb shit. And so she goes to this magical world where she's like the chosen one. And she's consistently just like, I want to go back to New York. Uh -huh. It's like, really? Like, you want to like leave like literally having a magical bracelet and parkour and all this crazy shit? And, um, I don't know, it's just fucking weird, like, it's like a game made for nobody, you know? 
Yeah, I didn't like it. And the gameplay itself was like is interesting, this, is but this like a PlayStation exclusive. Game? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, I have zero fucking idea what you're talking about. It was interesting enough, but I don't know. I just, I just didn't like it. It was very magic -y, Xbox tards be like, and I don't like magic. <laughs> I want to yeah, stab. Dan's, I don't think um, like magic. There was well, also did you guys play Madden 23 yet? <laughs> it, yeah, the, mag, the, the magic when they revived his dead corpse just to market that game. Yeah. John Madden, just his bloated corpse floating his through the bloated. street. He's he's the he's the, the, the walker corpse in he, the well in he, season he, two. He was bloated in life oh, and bloated in death. Can I please spend the last parts of this episode talking about rewatching The Walking Dead? Yeah. Yes. So, I've been rewatching The Walking Dead. Really? Yes. Man. First of all... Just great TV. It is just so good. I'm I I feel I feel very validated that um, the show I used to like is still very good. Um, at least like the seasons that I remember watching it. Because I stopped watching after season four. Um, after the governor stuff happened, that was it. I stopped watching. Um, and uh, and I'm one of those cucks that read the comic books before the show came out. So I was excited about it. Um, but anyway, um, one of the one of the things that I walked away with. You guys all watched it, right? I'm not just talking to a wall. Yeah. No. Okay. You at least did you at least? I'm, I'm not gonna watch. Okay. It. So the th you three of at least three or four of you of us do. So Shane, what do you remember about Shane, uh, Dan? I remember him being a maniac. I know okay. that's not totally. N no, totally accurate. <laughs> <laughs> I remember him. I'm happy you said that because so I remember me and Ricky talking about every once in a while before we were watching. I'm, I always remember him being like, being like, like they they did like writers things where like, and I'm not like saying writers do, like, like stupid assholes making a plot. Like I'm not being a psycho right now, but like things like when you have two a, a yin and yang of like morals, when you want when you want the audience to root for one guy, you make one of them do something like irrehensible. Right. Or, what's the word I'm looking for? Reprehensible. You know, reprehensible. Um, Irre irredeemable. Irredeemable. Yeah, I was combining words. But basically, like, so, like, in the, um, you're gonna have to believe this, but, like, in the, in the, not for spoilers, just get the word, um, YouTube. Uh, like, they, they have him in the end, end of season one, or towards the end of season one, they have him, like, try to r glory. And, like, and, like, oh, that's right. fucked up. And, like, oh, they have him, like, try, like, he's, like, aiming his gun at Rick, and he's threatening he's gonna kill Rick. Like, okay, like, you know, that's not good. Like, but, like, I remember him being, like, oh, I thought that was always just shit they did to, like, cover up the fact that, like, he was kind of in the right, too. No. Shane is a fucking... The fact that... Because all the characters the whole time are like, oh, Shane is, like, defending us as much as Rick is. Like, if anything, Shane's doing it more. Oh, power struggle. Dude, Shane is a fucking psychopath. He, I, does not, he does not do the right thing at all. Ever. Ever. Ever, no, ever. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. He, 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 he did everyone <laughs> a favor when he killed Otis. Oh, my Dude, God. Dude, Otis? Do you know how much food he was probably taking yeah, for the Yeah, no, yeah. Oh the fat Otis. First of all, I love that actor. Um, He's in Constantine. Awesome. Um, but, um... I remember from the psychopath. show... Psychopath. Or what I don't remember is because, like, what he was saying about the barn was, like, accurate. But I... What I forgot about the show and kind of reminded myself because I was... I did that same thing. I was like... Was Shane, like, actually in the right this whole time? Did I, was I just yeah. brainwashed? But I reminded myself that the farm was, like, the first place that they settled down and it, like, worked. And Shane was, like... But he, he was kind of, like, threatening that. Because if he did just do what he did and, like, shot all the guys in the barn, he was threatening, like, having Herschel kick them out unless he was just going to take it over. He was, I remember that he was... He was threatening it? Well, because he, he was saying, like, well, eventually we're just going to go into the barn and mm -hmm. there's walkers in there, so, like... But the argument was, like, this is his place, we should just respect exactly. his rules and just do what he wants so we can, like, stay out of the shit. But, so, what's, what's crazy, what's insanely fucked up about it, so... He is technically in the right, but the whole time, the show's, like, aiming at... The, the way, like, the characters are responding, kind of... Or at least the way I remember it being, um, was the characters were like, um, like acting like Rick was saying, it's okay that they're in the barn. Right. Like he, he, the whole time he's like, no, I get it. This is fucked up. But like, we can't risk, oh, I was right there. We can't <laughs> risk getting like losing this place yeah. because it's safe. Like it works. Getting like bedant. What's happening right now? The game is over. Hold on. There we go. We're back. Um, and, like, but also he was like, hey, listen, like, you know, oh, hell yeah. What the fuck? What a great start. Um, and, like, Shane just keeps doing crazy shit, and he keeps eluding. He keeps, first of all, also Andrea, a fucking, like, she is, she is the walking dead Skylar White. She cannot she do a so good. so annoying. She cannot do a good thing in her entire yes, life. I remember she was she so She is the annoying. worst and only makes bad decisions. 
Like, she only makes bad decisions, and then gets mad at everyone else for being mad at her for making life-threatening decisions in a life-threatening situation. She's a professional shopper. She, dude, she has her credit cards maxed out. <laughs> she is a shopping bitch. And, like, I just, I, she, she makes me fucking lose my mind. Um, but, but yeah, Shane, the whole time, she's like, I don't know, Shane's like, Shane's like, I don't know, maybe we'll have to take the entire farm by force, and maybe I'll have to kill Herschel and Rick. They'll understand. Like, he thinks that. It is so insane. And then at the end of the season, at season two, after, like, the, the farm goes up and fucking crazy whatever, um, I don't care about spoilers, shut up. The, like, like, the, the, the whole group is like, I don't know if Rick can protect us, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, go fuck yourself. Like, uh, like, Rick is like, I feel so bad for Rick the entire show. Everyone is like, unnecessary like this guy shows up not knowing what's happening out of walking out of the hospital with a gunshot wound and is only making good choices and like the only like kind of bad decision he makes is in season one at least so far in the they show should have killed morgan where um well i i don't know i'm not i'm not like far enough but like <laughs> no um, he should have killed morgan when he met him oh when he met him jeez oh yeah <laughs> that, that would have that would have actually stopped a lot of things no, you know, you know, people would have survived if morgan wasn't around um well, uh, uh, yes, that is true. Um, but like, but like, I'm saying like actual, like not like just making yeah. a drastic thing like that. Like the one thing is they go back for Merle after they handcuff him to the the ceiling. I'm um, the ceiling, the, the roof, <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> Stop! Um, no, they handcuff Merle and they're like, we're gonna go back for him because one, it'll make Daryl happy when he's part of our group. But two, there's an entire stockpile of guns that we can go get that are gonna help defend the camp and like defend us. And everyone's like, this is fucking stupid. You're gonna go back for Merle? He's like, the guns. Like, I, we need those weapons. And like, everyone's like, ugh. And the camp gets attacked because it just does. That you're in an apocalypse. And they're like, if you were here, we wouldn't have lost those people. If you weren't here, we would have had the guns to defend the place and save who we did. But also, like, it was a surprise attack. They didn't, like, overwhelm them. It was a surprise. That everyone that died in, this, in the attack died because a walker came out of the dark and bit them quietly. Like, and like... It just, it, it was just so, and also, those guns kept them alive all through season two. They, they would not be there. It just, basically well, what I'm saying is, well, I've been like, watching the show, it's amazing, but also, like, Rick is getting the shit end of the stick consecutively. Well, it seems like that, like, they give, sh like, they don't want to make any decisions, and then they, they're like, Rick, make our decisions for us, and then Rick makes a decision, and they're like, I don't like it. Yeah, they're like, I don't <laughs> like it. Well, that's what he says, and that's what he says in the, in the, they literally... It's crazy they actually, like, they literally, like, address that in the end of the first, second season. Every time he yells he, at them, I love it. I love it. He freaks out on them. He's like, he's like, oh, you think you're going to last out there? Go ahead. I killed my best friend for you, you fucking cucks. Like, he goes in on them. He's like, go fuck yourself. And then when Lori goes to, like, console him after yelling at them, he tells them, he tells her what happens. And he's like, hey, like, I had to kill Shane. He tried to kill me. Like, you know... After Lori, the whole time is like, there's a whole there's a whole scene where Lori goes, so you killed the living when he kills the two guys in the bar. You killed the living to defend what's yours, and he's like, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, Shane thinks that I'm his, and he thinks Carl's his. What do you think he'll do? Basically, being like, you have to stop Shane. You have to kill him. Like that doesn't mean have a nice talk with him. Like he's dangerous, and I'm scared of him. He finally tells Shane that he tells Lori that he killed Shane in self defense after a ploy they got the whole place fucking riled up and almost killed everybody and she goes <gasps> you did <gasps> don't touch me oh my god shopping <laughs> shopping maxed out credit cards in debt i was so happy when lori jc penny credit card best buy credit card L the only the, wor the only worst thing about the airline lori points out the wazoo on jet blue <laughs> shopping ass bitch the thing worse than lori is the child she gave birth to oh the I actually learned, I hate is. to do the fucking, the Raiders, the Raiders and Lost uh, podcast fucking asshole thing, but like, did you know that they're like, they're actually like, they kept trying to kill off Judith, did and, and, just, and AMC wouldn't let them? Did you just pull out Raiders of the Lost podcast? Yeah, those fucking cucks. It's been so long. I hate those guys. Oh my um, god, you just activated my fucking, like <laughs> fucking 5G Were those the guys that you guys wanted to start beef with? Yeah, yeah Are they still around? Beef. Hold on, let me, I, I, I hope let's, so. Let's they're, probably, they're probably really famous let, and doing really well right now. Let's start beef now. Or, they're like a perfect, they're like the- It's a great time to end the episode, actually. They're perfect, uh, clickbait. 
um, content. They probably have two million viewers right now. Hmm. Um, but they, like they have five hundred thousand. But they followers. said like they said like oh very God. wow. Really, they had only three hundred something last time. I'm shocked they don't have more. That was like two years um, ago. Uh, <laughs> they so um, yeah. A, um, the writers of Walking Dead kept trying to kill off Judith. They're like, we don't want to do the baby thing like longer than we need to. And AMC was like, no, the audience loves it. So every time, like they, they're like the show apparently hints at Judith dying like fifty million fucking times, and the MC kept saying no. Um, and now she's in the new seasons, like as like a grown child, so like whatever. But um, I'm on. I'm in the middle of season three. Lori just died. I remember them. Lori just died in the middle of season three, um, and he's like, no, uh, Coral. Um, and um, yeah, Herschel's walking around the fucking gimp. I love Herschel. He's fucking cool. Um, but yeah, that show's good. I, instead of catching up on Last of Us, I've been watching The Walking Dead. <laughs> um, He's showing me a clip right now about the, Luke, the latest... A lukewarm fucking gross Oh, they're... Take. Dude, they are awful. Yeah, they are they're actually, doing like an If I Was There thing. They're pure... They are pure clickbait. Like, they're... they're well, first of all, they're playing the game. I can't shit on them for playing the game. Like, I will. If, if, they're, if their only goal is... Well, I can. I only start shitting on those people when they're like, "I'm making art." Like, fuck you! No, you're not. Like, you're literally, you're not making fun thing. You're not making art. You're, you're making money. If your if your goal is to make money, then fine, go ahead. But like, like, um, I'll never shit on someone for trying to make for, for, for trying to make a buck. Um, you should. I, I I just don't. It's just not in my genes. I, I get it. I understand the, the world we live in. But um, the uh, but they'll do the thing. Like, did you know that that um, Han Solo actually like shot first in the original cut of Star Wars, and his brother goes, "No way." Wait, you mean not in the Disney release? No, dude, in the original Lucas Arts original cut, bro. Whoa! So Greedo doesn't shoot first? No, dude, Han Solo, and it's that for three minutes. And I want to stick a fucking pencil in my eye. I think it's time for you to sit in some acid. Um, yeah. Let's Wait, go. hold on, quickly. Uh, I will say one, in the graphic novel we'll for drown. The Walking Dead. Um. Like, I'm a drowning gas. I was like, like, like my, my my inner fucking wacko man. Was like, because in the graphic novel, you care if I spoil it for you, Dan? Nah. Ben? What? <laughs> Sorry, the AOL noise is going off in Ben's brain. <laughs> um, eh, um, but so basically, Which, uh, in, you, uh, in, in, in the prison invasion, yeah, I, I don't care. Um, Lori's fucking running with Meredith, like in her arms. The governor just shoots fucking Lori in the back and blows the baby up in the front, just kills both of them. <laughs> just fucking kills <laughs> Meredith immediately. Yep. And then it's so silly, you watch the fucking show with like this. End of the seventh season, they get this stupid kid actress to walk up with Rick's fucking cowboy hat and shoot someone with a forty-four magnum with his dumb kid actress face. <laughs> and I, I could not. I the could comic not. book is so good. It is. It actually well, is that's fucking why I, dark. I gave it to you. I'm like, you have to read this. Yeah, this man. It's such a good book. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this is Benoida. Um, I, what a great I, background I, game. I, I really, I, really love this game. I think there's a whole like heap of shorts we can make of just like Walking Dead shit from I know. this episode. Um, but yeah, I <laughs> Meredith. I love you. Call her Meredith. Is her name Meredith? Judith? No, it's Judith. Oh, fucking fucker. He names her. He names her after. Um, oh, I can't yeah, Judith, Jude. Judith Priest. Jude Law. Yeah, yeah Jude, Jude Law. Jude, Jude Law. Jude Law. <laughs> <laughs> All right, turn this off. Enemy. Enemy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I still, if, I still if, got if, 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 if you want to, if you want to see us live on tour, uh, check the website. Um, we're gonna be in Manchester, Newark. Yes. Um. Um. Uh, Bangkok. We're gonna be in Newark uh, also. We're gonna be in oh shit! Also Newark. Yeah, we're also gonna be in we're Newark. Be in Newark. Um, um, wait, don't forget sh- about check Newark. the touring list. We're gonna be in Newark. We're, g- we're gonna be in Cuba, but only when the Bay of Pigs happened. Um, yeah, we're gonna go back in time. We're gonna hop in the time machine. Um, we're gonna go back to yeah. the Bay of Pigs. We're gonna make it correct. We're gonna we're gonna record at Spotify HQ. Um, the cool thing is they're gonna let us do that because turns out when you when you have a gun, they let you do anything. I'm gonna we're press, gonna I'm gonna we're press gonna stop s- recording. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna win the Mortal Kombat tournament and get the time machine. We're gonna be in Newark. We're gonna be in Newark. And we're gonna make sure that we can go back in time and go to Newark. <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> please.